Standing on the corner, they watch the world drive by. They hold signs tattered and worn. They ask for food, for money, for work. Some motorists stop just long enough to reach out of their windows with bottles of water, bags of chips, and cash. Others avoid eye contact as they drive by, suddenly having to fiddle with the radio before locking their doors. Worse yet, others call them names. They are found everywhere. Who are we talking about? Let's find out. Well, with an aim to make a certain city go beggar-free, there have been certain batches organized by the government to teach these people to earn a livelihood for themselves. They are somewhat trained to paint walls or sell small stuff and many other such things. But it seems like every day we hear stories about someone pretending to be down the line and out so they can get a free ride or make some earnings just like that without even in need for it. Unfortunately, most of these stories are not much more than urban legends and anecdotal with many such incidences which is quite hard for a common man to digest. However, we just found a video on YouTube, courtesy of San Diego ABC10, that shows a real-life swindler in action. And to our amazement, you are not going to believe the story until you watch the video. ABC10 San Diego reported that a local woman named Melissa Smith had observed a pregnant woman who claimed to be down and out for over two months. It was a pitiful sight to see that lady. So Miss Smith said that every weekend, she would see the unidentified woman panhandling in an area supermarket parking lot with a car boat sign asking for handouts or money. Miss Smith had really felt for the woman who seemed to be down on her luck. Until last weekend when she saw the panhandler leaving the parking lot in the luxury car with a man while pumping gas at a nearby gas station. This was a shocking sight for her and she could not believe her eyes. Lo and behold, they were in front of us, she said. Here, they are counting money, laughing, and their little boy is not in a car seat or a seat belt. He's all the way in the front seat with them, curious. Smith followed the panhandler to another shopping center, where she found the woman again started to beg for money from the people put out there. No doubt analyzing the situation, Smith used her phone to take some pictures of the woman and her car to share with her friends. I'm going to take these photos so I can show my friends so that they don't give their money, which they don't need. They are driving a merc, said Smith. Now before long, however, the woman sees what Smith is doing and she threatens her. Next thing I know, she picked up this big boulder, Smith said. I don't know if pregnant people can do that. She puts it over her head and starts coming at me with this rock. Well, this news clip has been watched on YouTube more than 6 million times and has gotten many people worked up enough to generate more than 6,000 comments as such. There was a homeless man outside McDonald's and I decided to pay it forward by getting a $50 gift card for him so he can buy food when he needs it. When I offered it to him, he cussed at me and said he doesn't need any food and he wants money. The nerve of some people, man. Jermaine Clement. That just gives the people who are actually in need of money a bad rep. Bobby T. Here's the thing, I want to give people money, but there's these kind of people out there who aren't homeless. Selena Contras. That makes it so hard for people who just truly need it. Scumbags. Just NYC. This is why you give food to homeless instead of money. You don't know if they are actually homeless for one, and you don't know what they're going to spend it on. It's really sad. People taking advantage of good people. Ava H. A similar such incident happened where a tall and gangly man in t-shirt and shorts carrying a rough jute bag pretended to be a beggar, which he did not look like, but still he came to Jack to ask for money. Seeing him approach Jack was suspicious as a few moments before he just saw the man dropping off his girlfriend in one of his lavish cars. The drifter con man said he had to catch a bus to his mother's house in Kingston West End, grab a second set of keys returned by bus, retrieve his car, change his clothes, and get to his professor's house by 8 o'clock. His problem was he didn't have bus fare. Not a penny. Jack was alert and denied any such help of money, which actually saved him from becoming a fool. Because of such people, the real ones suffer who actually need some money, as other people have stated earlier. Generally, people should be helping those panhandlers who are into singing or some social cause or are actually homeless sitting out on a roadside bench with no one to look after them or even offer a helping hand. A university would highlight one of its alumni who spent some time as a panhandler. But in this case of David, his experience on the streets of Oregon City represents a quest for knowledge, not money. David Spears, who double majored in economics and political science, is an economics assistant with the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics. His panhandling career was brief, just 12 days, 
but it helped him establish a new sideline interest publishing in addition to his full-time job. Well, some incidences are for experience and some for less than one comes across. Have you ever tried to help someone who is down on their luck? Please share your stories with us. And if you liked our story today, don't forget to give us a like, share and do subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.